and welcome back. We're moving into our second segment for the morning. Like we mentioned, it is a fun Friday and the fun this weekend is, of course, the Carnival. Carnival Road March 2017. Belize National Carnival Commission, these folks are in with us, man, and they'll be telling us about tit to tat when it comes to the Carnival. We've got Sandra Mala, who's the president of the Carnival, uh, Belize Carnival Association, or Carnival Association of Belize, actually. And the head judge for Carnival 2017 is none other than Miss Marie Murray. Hey, good morning. It's so nice to see you. Orange and white. Good Why morning. not? It's a pleasure to have us. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so the energy is up. It's upbeat. Everybody yes, looking is. forward to this kind of a, Yes, it is. Everybody always look forward to it. Exactly. Now tell us about it. We know that there are some changes, but the, the, the vibe is still there. Tell us about it. Everybody's hype this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, the bands have been getting ready for months and months. The hype is there because they had the mass camp. We just finished mass camp last night. And mm -hmm. man, if you weren't there, man, you missed Start. out of what these bands actually had to showcase at their mass camps. What's nice about mass camp? What about mass camp? What's nice about it is that you get to see what the members of the band actually puts out. Mm -hmm. You see every little detail of what is going on. And they also get the opportunity to showcase to their sponsors, who are very important, mm -hmm. this is us. This is what you invested in, yeah. and this is what we're showing you what we can do. Okay. So that's the, the, the good part about it also, is you have fun. Mm -hmm. You're together, you unite, you party, you enjoy yourself. It is actually the opportunity where uh, there is the big reveal on themes and the story behind yes. the themes. Yes, it is. Of course, following King and Queen, where mm -hmm. you, you first saw a bit of it. Uh, and it's also important for judging. So uh, let's talk to you a bit, uh, Marie, about your role as head judge. Now, I love carnival but i couldn't imagine what i would judge on especially when you see everybody having such a great time you're and right. colorful costumes. <laughs> you're right what are the elements that you're looking for well as you were quite aware that um to every pageant there's always a criteria yes and that's what we look forward to on the day of, of, of carnival mm -hmm. um the bands are well aware of what's happening when it comes to the judging criteria because we all have a copy of it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what we look we, like sandra just mentioned we go to the mass camps Mm -hmm. We had four nights of mass camps. Mm -hmm. Every judge was there mm -hmm. present. And we looked at it from scratch, how they started off, what did it, you know, the colors, different colors, use of color. And it was quite impressive last night. They have stepped up. Mm -hmm. What do we do usually look for on the day in question, which is this day of parade? They are aware of it, the band leaders and the band members. Uh, impact, that's one thing we look for. Because mm -hmm. you don't want a band coming there, you show me one thing and tomorrow is something different. Yeah. So we look for impact. Mm -hmm. We look for um, the carnival spirits, mm -hmm. you know, because sometimes you, you, you play in mass, but some people are probably tired and they're down, they don't have the vibe for carnival, you know. Yeah. So they have the carnival spirit, energy and movement. Yeah. Right, we look for that as well. We also look for creativity and use of color. Okay. Because you can have a band which is fully red, but it's the way you use the red. Uh -huh. You understand? If you have a band that's fully green, is the way you put the green sections, you understand? But mm -hmm. yeah. that's what we're looking for most importantly. And the theme and depiction. If you said to me that you are portraying a glass, you don't just give me an empty glass. <laughs> you decorate the glass, you make the glass look, you know, because it's carnival time. Yeah. That is what we look for on the day of the parade. Absolutely. Wow. Yes. And, you know, I am amazed at the creativity that all the carnival oh, they bands have, have they year have stepped after up. year. And you're right, they've, they've gotten far more detail yes, in their they are. costumes. Yes, they are. You've done workshops as yes, well we, yes. with the carnival bands. And I mm -hmm. think people don't always know how much work goes into, into that yeah. road yes. march. Yes. So tell us about some of the things that you have seen through the workshops mm -hmm. that the carnival bands have adapted. Well, last year we had Mr. Morris from Trinidad and Tobago and he yes. worked with them very well. Mm -hmm. So this year they have put, they put what he taught them into, into, into play, use, into yeah. use, right? Um, I have seen a lot of, well, use of color. Yeah. Oh, they've used that tremendously this year. You know, bending of wiring, you know, the covering up of the kids. Mm -hmm. yes. They have, yes, it is really, they have stepped up. Yeah. yeah. I and must applaud them for this year. They are really, really, really good. Nice. I'm yes. glad you pointed that out, Marie, because I know Carni the Carnival Association made that step a long time ago that if we're going to have children in Carnival, which we embrace, because yes. the Caribbean people, yes. they have to look like children yes. and dress like children. Dress like children, yeah. yes. Definitely. Uh, 
And so the association goes out and makes sure that the band leaders actually follow the criteria for these children mm -hmm. before the judges come because when the judges reach there, we don't want that to be a part that they say, yeah. no, you need to fix this and you need to fix that because yeah. you didn't meet the criteria. So the association works very hard to make sure that the band leaders follow all the criteria. And it, it makes us feel good this year to hear from the judges saying that we've stepped up. Mm -hmm. Because every year we try to make sure we do something better mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. single year and yeah. brings out that creativity in addition to originality because mm -hmm. we try to let them know, you know, you, you, you have great minds, you, ca you can think outside the box, you yeah. can bring originality into this thing because mm -hmm. the judges are looking for that too. And we really feel good after mass camp when you hear the judges are saying, man, they've stepped up. Yeah. It means that the band leaders and all their committees, the association, the mm -hmm. commission, everybody has succeeded mm -hmm. in making Carnival this year better than last year. Now, here's the interesting thing about Carnival as well. So you have your individual bands, they're all working on their own to ensure that they can deliver the best performance on the street. Mm -hmm. But then there's the overall Carnival experience. There's the floats that are in between. There uh, is somewhat of just the, the uh, overall rollout of, of the parade, mm -hmm. how many gaps, uh, and the experience that those who are out there waiting get to have. I, I know that's always a, a part of the bigger headache yes. uh, for the association. So let's, let's talk about how you work on that. We've, we've spoken a bit about the bands, but talk about the overall parade and how you do your best to ensure that it's top quality. Well, first of all, we meet with the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody that in, is involved, the the people at the bar, the police department, the people selling food, our marshals. We meet with everybody, and we we go through exactly what we need to do. First of all, we need to have everybody line up by eleven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're ready. At one, the police department and the grand marshal will move off. We don't wait. Yeah. We need to cross the juniors, at, when we used to go over the bridge, we at, at least need to cross these juniors by 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. so that they're off the street before night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, working with stakeholders and, and sticking to your rules is one of the key aspects as to how we can have an overall good parade mm -hmm. and for us not to have gaps. Yeah. Um, you know, because we try not to have gaps. Mm -hmm. All the floats that are to come in, they know exactly where they're supposed to line up for them to get in so we have a free flow. Mm -hmm. You know, we might have gaps sometimes because sometimes you, you don't expect certain things to happen. Yeah, it happens, yeah. But yeah. next year, we try to improve on that again, yeah. yes. you know. Yeah. But for every year, for the past three years, we have managed to get these children over the bridge by tree, by tree. and off the street. If they remain, it means they're with their parents mm -hmm. or an adult or somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the key thing is to working with all your stakeholders. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the only way we can get it done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we, that's the, what we now, do. The, the we're also testing out a new route. Well, not testing out. We are using a new route mm -hmm. this year. And there was quite a bit of controversy about yeah. changing this route. The final uh, decision was made and you were moving from your usual location, this time cutting off uh, at Vernon Street and moving over to the north side. Uh, Sandra, I'm sure this is a very uh, nerve-wracking experience because we don't know what to expect. And I, and I want to jump right into one area that people have been most concerned about, that curve that, will have to, that, will, that the trucks and the bands will have to take by Cinderella Plaza. How much have we tested this area to ensure, one, it'll be safe and that it won't cause a block? Okay, we've done the testing of that area mm -hmm. three different times. Okay. Three different trucks and three different heights of truck. Okay. okay. We didn't enter, encounter any problem turning mm -hmm. at that point. What, we're, what you're going to expect tomorrow is that nobody will be allowed to line that area. Okay. Because remember, we didn't test it with a crowd of people out right. there. We just tested like with 15, 20 persons out yeah. there. Okay. So we're asking the public, or in the police will be out there from tonight. Yeah. You know, no parking, no standees, okay. right? For safety, because Good. we have to make sure everybody's safe tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. Please don't go at that curve at Kelly Street into Bayman Avenue, Cinderella Plaza area. Yeah. Please don't go and park or stand that area. We want to make sure 
just like how we did the, the test and we had no problem, we want to make sure tomorrow we do we turn, we mm -hmm. don't have any problems with these big trucks. You Thank know, you it, so much uh, for saying that. So course. we can reiterate that this is not a viewing area. No, the it's area not. from the stoplight <laughs> to Bayman, which is where the curves that will be. Correct. Yeah. That curve not right there. A viewing no, area. not a viewing area. Good. And, and we want for folks to know that, um, uh, and I'm sure that they should bear a little patience. That's a slight area. It, it you know, it's slight. Nice. So folks just. All you need to do is just to go a little bit more ahead. Yes. Right. But like we mentioned, that uh, the, the, the police will be out there, authorities will be there to let yes. folks know. We know that emotions run high around this time, yes. and there will be a lot of uh, alcohol consumption. Yes. So we just want for folks to take heed of uh, the situation. Now, what I wanted to venture off into, the plus of this year's carnival is for the mere fact that you mentioned that all the bands actually took heed of uh, uh, to make things better for themselves. And uh, yourself, uh, Marie, I, I, could, I could hear the accent, so we know for a fact that <laughs> you don't know far wrong, yeah. And I, am, I, I am a St. Lucian, but I live in Belize. Okay, so St. Lucian live in Belize. So you've been... I'm a Belu now. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, you know, it, it, and this is where I was saying, this is what I was saying, um, that there is a plus to know. Because for many a times, Belizeans keep on saying, man, I don't want to go to carnival. It's the same mm. thing. Yeah. But we're actually getting from the organizers now yes. that things have even gotten better. better. Yes, it has. So what, uh, this, this standout of these groups, how many groups do we have this year comparing to last year? We 15. have 15 groups this year. 15. We have 15. Last year we had 16. Mm -hmm. yeah. But one of our groups from St. Bain, um, she faced a lot of um, tragedy with oh. her, um, her assistant band leader, her welder, um, her um, dancer, her best performer who was supposed to lead her group, they all um, they got in an accident and they died. So she decided to, it's too much to for her out. at this yeah. time. Yes, so that's the only reason why she backed out. Yes. You, know? but, you do um, have one non-competitive group, We right? have one non-competitive, which is Caribbean Treasures. Mm -hmm. okay. So that makes 14 groups competing. Yeah. Okay. Right. So last year we had 16. And we were supposed to have 16 again this year just due to those. And what are the numbers of the bands? Have they grown? Yes, they have. Yeah. They have grown. Um, one of the junior bands I visited last night, we visited last night, had 75 kids. And wow. she says she's, yes. Another one had 80 something, you know. They are really, really growing up, stepping up. You, you know, know what, you guys what? are telling us those numbers and you're telling us about <laughs> use of colors and we're getting excited all over yeah. again. And this is what come I was Saturday. saying, the excitement come is Saturday. there. Come yeah. Saturday. But come Saturday, you see. God willing, if the sun yeah. stays the way it is, we check our forecast. It's, 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 it's going to be hotter. It's yes. good. <laughs> but it's good. tell me, I, I always have, you know, like I said, we, we all, as uh, people who are watching the carnival, we just want to have great energy. Great energy and, and we want to yes. see people having fun. fun. Yes. And one of my biggest questions is, I know they put a lot of work into preparing the bands mm -hmm. uh, and the dance and the revelers uh, into playing mass. Mm -hmm. Now, my question is, how much do you judge the dance moves? Uh, whether or not well, they're coordinated. When it comes to presentation. Yeah. How much whining, too much whining, no, too little? No, whining, whining isn't, isn't, isn't one of the criteria. Okay. I mean, it's presentation, it's carnival mm -hmm. time, you will find whining. Mm -hmm. Of course. You just want them to have a clean carnival, enjoy themselves, you Definitely. know? Definitely. Yes. What about the judging routes? So the, the carnival groups know where they're they going. Yes, they, they know where the judging where points the junior, are. The junior yeah. stays mm -hmm. at Central American Boulevard. Okay. And the seniors, we move to... Um, you for the future, future office. drive office, okay. just mm -hmm. in front of UDP office. So that's where they'll be judged. Mm -hmm. The seniors will the be seniors. judged. Okay. Will be yes. judged. Okay. There's a white, they could do the choreograph and all the dances and stuff so we could see. So let's go yeah, through And this. we can capture it better on camera because yes. we'll be right across yes. the street. Perfect. Across the street. <laughs> that's right. So let's go, let's go through the, 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 the route though because okay. for a lot of folks, remember, Carnival is like the biggest event, uh, a country-wide event, because everybody yes. comes from Carnival far Belize and near. City, we have mm -hmm. to say, you know, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. They, 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 yeah, Carnival Yeah, kind of, Carnival, you know. So, the, 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 the route, where, where do we leave from? Where do we uh, pass we, by? We line up from Caesar Ridge Road. Caesar Ridge. Yes, we mm -hmm. start, we come Central American, Central American Boulevard. Boulevard. All the way down to Vernon Street. To Vernon Street. So when we get to Vernon Street, we, we go right. 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 Contrary to traffic. Contrary to, to traffic. traffic. All the well, way you down. don't have to worry. Mm -hmm. The police have everything in secured in, um, place. in place for tomorrow. I'm sure they're starting from today. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about going up stop and meeting a vehicle coming this yeah. way. And all. That has all been taken okay. care of. Yeah. So, so we go, go right, right into Vernon, Vernon Street. Street. We make a left turn into U for Future, Future Drive. Yes. Over, Bell, over the Bell, bridge, bridge, into Douglas, Douglas Jones, Jones Street, 
cross into Cinderella Plaza, mm -hmm. make a left into Kelly, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. up Bayman Bayman Avenue. Avenue. And then we make a left onto Princess Margaret, Margaret Drive, Drive, and we end at Moran mm -hmm. Jones. All right. Easy. 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 What, easy, is, easy. It, is it a little bit longer about the same time? It's just like a block longer. Okay. Okay. Nothing yes. to talk about. What's no. the okay. estimated time that you think it will arrive at Marion Jones? And what happens when it's there? By five, we should ar arrive by Marion Jones, Jones Stadium. That's mm -hmm. what we expect. And, and that's where you'll announce your winners? No, no. no, no. no. The winners we announce at 9 p.m. Yes. on the okay. At about 9 p.m. We don't want any chaos, people fighting because okay. this one doesn't win and this one doesn't win. You know? So the question I've been asked again, the judging points again? Mm -hmm. The judging point is in Cemetery Road at the junction with um, the Boulevard. That's for the juniors. The juniors. Mm -hmm. The same area where it has it's been for the past been. three, four mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And the seniors is at in front of Youth for the Future Apprentice Program Office mm -hmm. on Youth for the Future Drive. Oh. That's right. And um, we, I just want to mention that no, this year what we're doing to increase security and safety for all, because remember we're looking at that oh, definitely. Um, greatly this year. Mm -hmm. There'll be no bar installation along where you see a judging right. point. Very good. So we've yeah. implemented that this year and we'll see how it works. Mm -hmm. But we're doing that to make sure we have safety and security for everybody in the parade, watching the parade and the judges. Yeah. So this year, if now, you do, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I think it, I, I don't want to miss that point because it is a very important one for us here in Belize yes. City. Um, there, there is intense competition amongst the bands. Oh, yes. um, and uh, you have the added element of them being from different areas of the city. And uh, there is a, a very, very much um, visible effort by the Carnival Association, the Commission, and the Police Department to ensure that this will be a, a safe event in September. Tell me what you have uh, gotten as a response from the bands as to how willing they are, because it's not so much about those who are in the Carnival, oftentimes it's their supporters yes, right. uh, that tend to be the troublemakers. How much have you, uh, what's the feedback from the band in terms of how they've been speaking with their supporters? Well, we had a meeting with our band leaders after that incident that happened at Moran Jones. We met with all of them. And actually, on Wednesday past, we had a declaration of peace signed yeah. by all band leaders, where um, they've signed as band leaders. But thereafter, they had to go back to their camps and speak with their revelers mm -hmm. to let them know that, look, we're all friends here. Mm -hmm. We're going to display our creativity out there. We need to hold the peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the feedback that we've gotten from them is everybody is in line with that. Mm -hmm. There will be no problem out there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, and now, furthermore, if they cause any problem, there are consequences now that they will have to face and they've all signed on to it. Fantastic. One yeah. of the first thing would be um, to not participate next year in Carnival. Mm -hmm. And they all love Carnival. Yeah. So I don't think they'll do that, Anything you know? To, the, yeah. to jeopardize. To jeopardize that, yeah. yes. right. And you yeah. can see the passion of it, you know, because uh, most people complain about sponsorship. Yes. But one of the things they do because they've got the passion for Carnival is actually going out there and doing it themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. the, the, the Carnival Association, is there any kind of, uh, or what do you say to these groups whereby, you know what, they're, they're struggling, but at the same time they love Carnival? The groups are struggling. A lot of the groups are struggling. They have that love for Carnival. So we as the association have to go with them and, you know, encourage them not to give up. I mean, you need to show what you have to offer and then maybe you don't get a sponsorship this year. But yes. next year, depending what you put out there, you, you will get a sponsorship. Yes. But in addition to that, we just don't leave them right there. Mm -hmm. The association goes out and get. Um, sponsorship for them to be ready for tomorrow yeah, yeah. so um, it puts a lot of pressure on the association to raise all these monies for the groups who are mm -hmm. struggling but um, we tell them once you register you're not coming out once we can help you we will make sure that you, you come, come out, out. Yeah. and yeah. you know and show what you have so that next year when we go back again and um, for example we had belly mm. um, we were we had like five junior groups who were struggling I, I went, we sat down and we came to agreement and he decided, look, I'm going to help them. I'm going to give them X amount of dollars, so much products for tomorrow, etc., cetera, et cetera. Yes. But what they gave them was not enough, mm -hmm. but that was what they were offered to give. Mm -hmm. So again, we had to go to SMART. 
-hmm. you know look we I have five more bands who need help this is what they need and this one needs so much and that one needs so much and he said okay I'm going to do it right yeah. but you know it's difficult for us as an association who has to raise our own funds to carry out activities too yeah. but we are here to make sure that carnival happens and it happens better every year so right now that is what we're doing we try to help all the bands mm -hmm. but it would be good if next year like um, yeah. corporate businesses you know can take on these bands I mean, these band leaders are in for the long haul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They love carnival, so they don't want to come out. Mm -hmm. And I'm, they spend a lot of time out of pocket. Of time. Yes. 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 I, I know for sure they go to institutions and yeah. borrow money for this. Yeah. Wow. They do. Yeah, yeah, that they do. I know for sure. Yeah. Yes. I mean, so it, they love it. It's a passion. Yeah. Wow. And I, you know, I, I think you're right. We do have to make the point that we all love carnival. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes some of the same uh businesses are the ones who benefit mm -hmm. or they want to put up a float but don't want to yes, sponsor a, 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 a <laughs> carnival group but yes. these carnival groups do need funds, funds to be able yes. to pull off a great yes. costume and a great, great. performance yeah so, one, of, one of the junior bands i visited last night mm -hmm. she started off from january yeah and she's completed yeah. Wow. You know, she's touched alone. Mm -hmm. She did everything Street by nine herself. Months. I think I have nine months yeah. of, of hard work and yeah. dedication. You know, mm -hmm. but they have really stepped up, and I'm so proud of them. You know, they listen, they learn, and things are getting better. So, Marie, tell me, you have uh, been looking. I can't ask you who's in the lead. <laughs> I will not get into that competitive <laughs> side. But just how excited are you based on what you've seen oh, from am, the band I am, so I am far. overwhelmed. Yeah. Yes, because I can see after for the past three years mm -hmm. that they are learning proper use of color mm -hmm. and they have stepped up. I am so proud of them and I only want them to just have fun, you know? Yeah. yeah. There's no quarreling, no fighting. Just enjoy your carnival. It is time for your celebration. Excellent. Excellent. What, what does what does carnival juve does to carnival? I, I, additional, juve additional. I mean, I yeah. Yeah. The hype. Yeah. 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 Yes. How much fun juve yes. is. Yes. Get ready for the road. You juve know? is for all the people who have carnival dreams but will never but come out. Yes. 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 And it also, it also tells you, look, come out at one o'clock. Yes. Yes. That's what it tells you. you know, it's carnival day. You come yes. out at one. Yes. But juve, like she said, is to free up. It's for you yeah. who don't want to put on a costume. It's you just want to free up, be yourself, go yeah. there, have some fun. Some 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 that's what juve is all about. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And we nice. start at four yes. tomorrow morning yes. for juve, yeah. not five. Yeah. At four yeah. a.m. Oh, we're yeah. starting early. At four, 4 a.m. Wow. And for persons who are willing to play juve, they could contact Miss Karen at the Bliss. Mm -hmm. There's still some juve packages left, Coco Devils. Ooh. So. Just go down to the bliss I and get I your, think, I think those get your will, sugar packages. They'll finish with those today. <laughs> Who doesn't want no, to no, <laughs> Every year yes. it gets bigger. Every year it gets bigger and better. <laughs> and you have your choice because you could do your chocolate, you yes. could do the regular. I think the, the, the mud one mud. is free, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And then you can purchase a package for chocolate, a package for paint, and yes. a package for yes. something else, yes. I think. Wow. But, yes. you know, when you see all these people heading out at... Four o'clock in, in the morning, 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 ready to go and dance through the street. It's an amazing experience. But and you've seen it grown so much. What's the route this year? The route... Um, it remains, it remains, it remains, it remains, it remains the same, the same, the same, same as, as last year. year. Okay. You start at San Cas and yes. you will end up on Marine Parade. Yes. Correct. I can imagine Correct. the amount of calories being burnt. I mean, you <laughs> actually, be, you, you're out there from nine later on tonight. 8, 9 o'clock. You're hanging out with your friends. You go to probably a hot spot. Yes. You're after you go and you, you, you enter the juve. Yeah. You go home at about 10, 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. You put on your costume and you go yeah. directly right, to, to Caesar Ridge. So you could get into the carnival and yes. then you make that route all, all the way, way to down. my And goodness. when you're finished, you don't want to go home. You want to party <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I'm yes. sure. Wow, I Ladies, swear. Thank you so much for coming in. It's you know, you boss. brought your own carnival energy with no yes. costumes, yes. no <laughs> music. <laughs> Um, and we appreciate the efforts in working to make our Belize City Carnival bigger and, and better, better year after year. I love that we have our own Belizean artist music playing yes. too. That's another mm -hmm. addition. That's a, that's, 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 a, that's a plus. Great. And then you can yes. have them on because the truck yeah. singing as well. Yes. Right. Ernestine said she was making her selections over time. So <laughs> I don't know where she's going to be singing. Yes. But it's so fantastic. Yes, and indeed. Let's hope that we have a great carnival tomorrow. And thank you for your efforts. And good luck with that judging. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, I feel good that we have a product that we will showcase tomorrow that the mm -hmm. world will be watching. Yes. Not only Belize. 
Um, I want to take this opportunity, to, opportunity though, to thank travelers who have been there for the association and all the bands. All right. mm -hmm. He's our platinum sponsor, um, Smart, Billy Keen, Presidente, Tropic Air, and Ocean Ferry. I hope I haven't left out my platinum sponsors because these are people who not only help us, mm -hmm. they help the bands that are struggling, and I really, really appreciate them. Our association members who have been out there visiting these bands day in and day out, we actually helping them to get their, their stuff together, um, getting them registered so that when they win tomorrow mm -hmm. and that check is given out next <laughs> next week, it's not made to a name, it's made to a band name, yeah. you know, so that it shows it's all how they've grown. <laughs> you know, I want to thank all the band leaders, um, the revelers who are coming out tomorrow in peace. I mean, the public for supporting us um, niche the carnival commission the judging association she works with us closely yeah. I mean if we call her for anything if we have a question about anything she and her group is out there to, to, to educate us and say what to do yeah. I mean I want to thank all these people and all the media houses I mean because you all are what is bringing carnival to mm -hmm. Belize and the world tomorrow all right. well we're definitely putting it out to the world of course channel 5 continues with our live coverage of carnival Definitely. Definitely. Tomorrow, we start at 1 p.m., the same time you guys uh, head out, <laughs> and we will be situated right next to the judging station. It's going to be fantastic. Do tune in. We'll have a recap of mass camps. We'll have a little bit of juve. We'll be able to show you all the dancing on the streets. And of course, if you're out there watching our recap shows later on in the night as well. We'll be streaming live on Facebook so you can see it there as well, especially uh, if you're not in Belize at the time, you can still feel a little bit of home with the carnival. Definitely. Thank you so much once thank again. You. Gracias. Gracias, thank you. We're, we're gonna go ahead and take a break and when we come back, we're talking carnival safety tips. So stay tuned. <laughs>